Gill nets were officially banned in 2020, but in southern Delhi's, nets are still surfacing in the Port Honduras Marine Reserve. Tides head ranger Edwin Cabrera indicates that 494 meters of gill nets were hauled in at the end of July. Um, I'm the head ranger of Port Honduras Marine Reserve. Today we brought in four gill nets that were found within the Marine Reserve. Uh, one of the gill nets was actually confiscated from some fishers that were claiming uh, they were using the net for catching bait, which is an undersized mesh. So it was confiscated from the fisher. The gill net that uh, was confiscated from the fishers within the reserve was a, a gill net measuring 74 meters long. It's a two inch mesh, which is illegal because um, prior to the changing of the law, the legal mesh size was three inches. So it was confiscated from the fishers. A community steward found three nets and handed them over to the rangers at Abalone Key. Good community stewards are needed to report illegal activity and utilize good fishing practices. And also we brought in three, three other gill nets that were handed to us by a community steward last week Friday. Uh, he brought it to, to the ranger station. He reported that the gill nets are totally submerged underwater, claiming that they are used for uh, extracting lobster from within the reserve. So. Um, just to bring awareness that uh, the, the law has been passed, that the gillnets are banned within Belize. And the, the three gillnets that were handed over from the community steward, two of the gillnets were 147 in length, and one of them was 126 uh, meters in length. As we continue to do uh, our patrols within the, the reserve, we just want to ensure that the, the fishers that are using the marine reserve um, update themselves with the changings, changes of the regulations. Um, definitely, um, it requires more awareness when, it, when we have the changing of the, the different regulations. But um, we are out 24-7 within the reserve. So we go from boat to boat also to encourage fishers um, to uh, refrain from using the illegal methods and also updating some of the guys with the changes of the regulations. PHMR rangers continue to protect fringing reefs, seagrass beds and 138 mangrove keys which support an important fishery for traditional and commercial fishers. <laughs>